What's up, YouTube? <laughs> Shalom, y'all. Welcome to Religion Wink TV, where my spiritual ears stay. All right, so basically, I know it's a little dark, but um, I just want to say I'm about to have a heart to heart because some people believe in karma, and I believe faith without works is dead. I also believe works without faith is dead as well. So check out how me and this woman that used to be down with Mona Simone came full circle the other day. And I appreciate you subscribing, hitting that bell icon next to it so you can be a part of these wonderful conversations and heart-to-hearts I've been having over here lately. Thank you. Shalom. God bless. And I'll see you at the end. Oh, and don't forget, put your comments down below along the way because this will be a premiere. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up on your way in i appreciate you thank you so much i'll talk to you in a little while peace oh yeah we about to get into this one y'all because i'm gonna clear my name and i just want to show y'all just how mighty and magnificent the grace of god is when you want it to be see sometimes you never know how you help the person because sometimes they forget to come back and say thank you or sometimes life is so hard they get caught up in other things you know it's okay but I'm gonna prove to you today how this woman that I believe God used me to dodge a bullet from Mona Simone has brought a full circle for me and I'm gonna reveal to you just how patience and kindness and kind words and not backing down from the enemy and standing your ground can set somebody free you have to stop waiting on a white jesus or a caucasian jesus or some entity to come free you you have the power within you to set other people free from the confusion from the craziness from the derangedness, from the despair, from the disappointment, from the deception, from the diabolical way of living that Mona Simone showed us she gets down on April 1st, 2019 on these YouTube streets. I was able to set a woman by the grace of God and his word and his power free. From this woman, Mona Simone, to where we all have left here, in the words of Harlequin, six degrees, one brain, and now a damn devil. Yeah, Mona, that is some devilish shit to me. I see you throwing up them damn sixes. The hell you looking at me like that for? You really messed up Miss Sandra's head in order for her to come over here and comment on my video one day. Approximately about two months ago. But Mona, I'm about to come on camera and face you in just a little while. I think maybe within 30 seconds. And within these 30 seconds, Mona, I want you to get ready because we're going to have a talk. It's going to be Freddie's daughter talking to Patty's daughter, the child of God. Okay, Mona? I don't know when the last time you talked to somebody spiritually, Mona, but when that woman came on my post defending you over a cash app that I was talking about in my video, I knew it was time to have a heart to heart with you then. Freddie's daughter, before I come on camera, please let me read this 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 post to you right here. See, when I saw this post, I believe in Tracy's uh, live the other day. I really don't remember where this woman was, but I saw her. God led me to her for a reason. But this post right here is not quite it. But I I was happy to see it, and it's one of two posts that I was able to get from her. See, the post actually says, we judging without knowing what's going on. She very sick. I get lying in front of people when you hurt and depressed. I'm sick. 
I'm understood, I'm sick, I'm depressed, bullying is real. This is sad, we still throwing each other under the bus. Mona, look what you got grown women. Well, they gotta assume responsibility themselves. But when I saw this post here, I was happy, Mona. Because this was not the same woman I met almost two months ago, Mona. So I'm going to go ahead and come on camera and, and just talk to you about this woman and so many other women, Mona. I know you have changed, okay? Or have changed by knowing you, whether it's for the good or the bad, Mona. All right? Talk to you soon. Thank you so much, guys. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this video, like, share, comment, and I'll be on camera shortly. Thank you. Hey, Mona. I hope this stay light enough for you. So, guys, as you heard me just say in the video prior to this, right, that this woman is formally named Miss Sandra Segarra underscore brain. That's the shit I'm happy as hell about. If hell can be happy, y'all, because you know what? When she came to my channel, she was a diehard brain. So something happened within her. Within the last two months, guys, that proved to me that there is a God and God's grace is working on these YouTube streets. Now, the comment I read to you, she still deals with depression. She's still struggling within her own walk. But, guys, I'm going to try to get this as light as I can. I'm looking a little dark here, y'all. Okay, is that a little bit better? Oh, my God. Y'all got a big view of everything, huh? <laughs> Let me see. Come on, lighten up. Oh. Guys, it's dark. I don't want it to be this dark. I'm going to have to put a filter on this. So anyway, basically, by the grace of God, something has happened, Mona, where this woman walked away from you and no longer call her, herself underscore brain. And I believe the conversation that woman and I had together is what sparked her walk away from you her separation away from you yes god has a long way to go in her life like so many other people you hurt woman but here i'm here to tell you mona you can repent nobody ever hated you over here but i did these videos to speak to the brain because the brain does malfunction the brain has an aneurysm the brain has a brain fart the brain can get lack of oxygen up to it. That means none at all. The brain suffers um, hydrocephalitis, which you always say you have swelling on the brain. And like this big head we say, you know, that's in reference to like maybe hydrocephalitis. The brain also, um, um, what, what are some of the other things? Go to that bot, that video I did, y'all. Dissecting the brain, part one and two. Y'all, I may not get a lot of views, but I speak the truth. And yes, Mona, I did another video that you saw in this video called uh, Content Creators in the Love of Cash App. Maybe an underlying addiction underscore the brain question mark you know because it seems like a lot of people who follow brain nation suffer from some of the same things so we're going to try to help people get set free mona and that's what i did when i stood my ground when the brain came at me like a couple brains came they said one or two things and kept it moving but this lady for about three hours or so in one day and i sat here and i kept engaging and engaging and engaging and you guys will be able to pick up and see the rest of the conversation between her and i was sparked this video and me being happy as hell when i saw this woman without the underscore brain on the back of her name i'm like yes lord you are delivering them and then guys you know when ming and tsunami and rye and everybody just fell back and the whole thing with matthew met my Mylon, matthew matthew Mylon, um 
jaded nerd, all this money and swindling and scandaling, and not to mention four one. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all take a look at some of these posts that went on between her and I, Miss Sandra Segura. Formerly known as Sandra Segarra Brain underscore Brain. Um, I've since realized within the last two days or so that she removed her um her underscore brain from her name. And that's a hell of a progress dealing with Mona. Some people are scared to do that. So go ahead and take a look at some of the comments. I do believe I have them in order as they came. She was really going hard for Mona. Again, I was too because I understand Mona has a lost soul. Mona's soul been broken a long time ago. And guys, I told you in order for surprise... Their flesh has to die. Mona will not ask God for forgiveness. Mona will not repent. Mona does not feel sorry for anything. Uh, belittling, degrading, uh, doesn't make sense. You know, just full of shit here on these YouTube streets. She does not have a genuine sorry or heartfelt apology for anything she's done. And does not take full responsibility of her own actions. So, I, I recognize that in people. Do I throw away the whole evil person? If I can get to Sandra Segarra, formerly known as Miss Sandra Segarra Brain, about two months ago. I believe the video went up on February 10th. The one that says, uh, YouTubers and Cash App, the love for Cash App, maybe an underlying addiction. This woman came and went hard for you, Mona. But guys, there is one part that I want to read to you. And I'm going to go and search the video right now, the, the, the um comments. And I'm going to read to you why I think God allowed her and I to have that conversation that day. And for it to come full circle back to me to see her take her name off because on february 10th when she uh whenever she commented on that video um again it went up february 10th so i'm not sure if she commented right on it that day or within a day or two or whatever a week later but um i was talking to her i was going hard for the most high god like this lady about to get up out of my head. You, look you you ain't got to come here but if you you don't want to be there you surely could come here but you ain't got to come here just to get the hell up from over there right i was trying to say because she was asking me some valid questions and i was responding respectfully but at the end of it i believe she said something like she's gonna uh close her cash app down and get out so let me go search for that i'll be back enjoy the rest of the music and if you haven't already subscribed to this channel please do so thank you okay guys so here you should have been reading the post all along i'm looking for it and it was already on the timeline so anyway let me go ahead and read it to y'all up there playing with me it goes a little something like this she was trying to be a little sassy. She says, it's okay for you guys to ask for money for your ministry. Mona doesn't run out and get money like you people talk about her. It's our business if we choose to help sister. Do your homework before you judge. I can show my cash app. She don't run and get her money sometimes. It's days before she gets it. Learn before you speak. And you're saying God speaks to you? Whatever. So sad, yes, I'll tell to cancel so YouTube don't get none of my money. I was like, yes, Lord, because I don't want your money, sister. The way you're talking to me right now, don't bring that devil shit over here. But Mona won't get your shit no more. Hallelujah, y'all. She's no longer a brain. Prayer works. The grace of God. All I did, I responded something like, Mona needs you more than I do. Okay, Miss Brain? LOL, you had to cash app her to be even have the name, right? Are you married to her? Let's leave it at that. Oh, no, please watch. I used to belong to a cult called Christianity. Uh, it may help you to get out of yours while you're ahead. Can, uh, while you're ahead and can, can and still have money to cash at people for the right reasons without being taken advantage of. LOL, seriously, Miss Brain. 
God bless you. And if you want to talk just not about Mona, we can have a uh, we can. If not, I prove my point in the video. That's why you're here defending her. I get it. I'm a small YouTuber doing what I do, and she does what she does. Simple is as simple does. Guys, and that's Religion Wing TV, and my spiritual ears stay. Now, I did see this other post where Miss Lady is still hurting you all. It's sad. I'm just going to go ahead and read it to you. Because basically she was in someone else's chat and they were talking about Mona, how deceptive and evil and wicked Mona is. And she says, we're broken hearted after this. We are all crying to that effect. Go ahead and check this out, guys. Again, it's Religion Week TV and my spiritual ears stay. And I do believe I proved that this woman is no longer a Mona supporter whether it's cash app or by wearing a name brain so guys if you continue to fight evil with evil they will never come from amongst evil once you begin to shine your light in the midst of evil eventually it will it will start to pierce through the darkness and I believe that's what God did here so you all let me know what you think down below have a good one again okay, before you go let me know if this woman did a complete 360, if she's no longer part of the Brain Nation, if that possible conversation that we had on February, in the month of February, let's just say, sparked her and other things that Mona may have done since then to remove herself from the Brain Nation. And also, Miss Sandra, if I didn't already say it, you're more than welcome over here. And Mona, you as well. You just got to repent, sister, because we is not with the wickedness over here. Why? This is Religion Week TV, and my spiritual ears stay. So, guys, I hope you all enjoyed, you know, this video or whatever. And again, Mona, this is not to pick on you, yo, but when I see women like you, I either have to speak to the spirit of God in you or that demon, that evil spirit of the devil within you, according to Genesis 6 and 5. The heart of man is continually evil, Mona. When you going to stop? When you going to see that victory is mine? Victory is mine. Victory is mine, oh Lord. When you going to realize that evil shall not prevail? against the gates now again like i was saying the gates of heaven evil cannot stand against the gates of heaven yeah the bible says the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence and the violent take it by force but mona as far as i'm concerned you're gonna stop taking people by force people you're going to gain control of your own lives today seek real help hell if you're a real friend to mona you will go ahead and make sure she get the help she need you understand what i'm saying so again <laughs> i don't have a dog i don't have a fight other than just to basically set some souls free yeah i think it's some miraculous thing no you speak to people's spirit you wake them up because God may have a spirit of slumber on them according to Romans um, 11 and 8. There's a spirit of slumber on people. They, they don't have eyes to see or ears to hear. And it sounds like Mona is that way as well, guys. So you have to speak your life, your light over her. Remember, Christ is the light of the world and he's the light unto all men. But some men comprehend not that light, guys. So with that being said, Mona, the, again, this isn't to dog you out. My job is to edify you, exhort you, comfort you, admonish you, uh, encourage you in the admonition of the Lord. But if you're an enemy of God, like I've been witnessing on these YouTube streets, then it's my job to speak and fight and contend the faith of the Most High God to cause people that are lost to come back to the fold, okay? Including you.
Let those that have ears hear what thus saith the Lord. With that being said, God bless you all. Take care and remember, the only person that can enslave you from this day going forth is you. Stop blaming the devil and these devils of the world for doing to you what you allow them to do. Now I'm done. Miss Segura, Sandra Segura, I'm glad that you took that name off of your uh off the end of your name. I'm glad that you closed down your cash app and I'm glad you come into your senses spiritually waking it up to these demons and devils of the world. And Mona, if that happens to be you, then you need to address the situation because what you did on 4-1 was not cool in my book. But see, I don't give no place to the devil. I don't run around here and praise people that's a human being just like me. Hell, if people wasn't asleep, they may see me more fitting and befitting than, than the shit you put down to them. But that's where our people are. They love the bullshit of the world. They love the negativity. They love the lies. They love the performing. But they don't love the truth. And the truth don't always look like you, Mona. Okay? So with that being said, God bless you all. Take care. And remember, this is just a message from God. <laughs> Let Thank those who have ears receive what thus said the Lord. Okay? Shalom.